Hey everyone, this is the Neo Turbo Maniac here with another Neo Geo review, and this time we're going to cover Fatal Fury. This 1991 classic is a 55 megabit cartridge and was the Neo Geo's first one on one fighting game. Fatal Fury was the first of many games released in this series and also led to the creation of another great series, The King of Fighters. Fatal Fury centers around the King of Fighters tournament. So in this game, you have a choice between three characters. You could pick between brothers Andy and Terry Bogard or Joe Higashi. Once you make your selection, you'll have a choice between four opponents and each opponent is located in a different part of Southtown. Let's get into the controls and features for this game. The controls are very simple. You have three buttons, one for kick, one for punch, and another for throw. Now the unique feature in this game is that you have a two plane fighting system so you can actually fight you and your opponent across two separate lanes. Now this can only be initiated by the computer and you can stay in your lane or move into the same lane as the computer. While you do that you'll unleash an attack so there's actually some strategy involved in that. So let's look at some of the characters in this game. You have Andy Bogard who has a Zanakin. Uh, Hishoken and Ashoryu Don. You have Terry Bogard, who some of his signature moves include uh, the Crack Shot, the Power Wave, the Burn Knuckle, and the Rising Tackle. You'll also have Joe Higashi, who is a Muay Thai fighter, and some of his signature moves include the Hurricane Upper. He also does a Flash Kick. He does a Tiger Kick, which is very powerful, and he also does a Rapid TNT Punch, which unfortunately I find is useless in this game. Also, another unique feature in Fatal Fury is that when a second player joins in, instead of fighting one-on-one -on -one like you would expect in most other fighting games, you actually will take on the computer at the same time, so have a two-on-one battle. Now, initially, you'll have each character on a separate plane, and then you'll move into the same plane to fight the computer. You can gang up on the computer, and, which can be easy sometimes, but for some stages, like Michael Max's stage, for example, you're both on the same plane, and you'll end up getting in each other's way. And I also noticed that projectiles can actually harm the other player. Once you defeat your opponent, then you'll have your standard one-on-one -on -one battle, and the winner of that will move on to continue the game. Now let's take a look at some of the opponents in this game. You have Michael Max, who's a boxer, and his signature move is the Tornado Upper, which is identical to Joe Higashi's Hurricane Upper. Other than that, he just throws basic punches, and yeah, his, his abilities are very limited. You have Richard Meyer, who is a capoeira fighter, and he utilizes a variety of kicks, mostly spinning kicks, and he also hangs from the ceiling to kick as well. He can also attack you while standing on his hand, so yeah, he's one of the more unique characters in this game. You also have the Duck King, who uses a variety of breakdancing moves, and of course Duck King is one of the mainstays in the Fatal Fury franchise. Uh, another, another of his signature moves is a rolling spin. His kicks in this game do have long range, so you have to be careful when you're fighting him. Now, one of the most unique characters in Fatal Fury is Tung Fu Ru, who appears as an elderly man, but once he takes about one-third damage, he morphs into a very large monster with very strong attacks. Another unique thing is that in his strong form, attacks he takes less damage from attacks. So, once you get to a, down to about one-third energy, then he'll revert back to his old form. When you win a battle, you'll see a dialogue exchanged by the fighters and also by Geese Howard. The premise in this game is that brothers Terry and Andy are in this tournament to avenge the death of their father. After every two matches, you'll have a bonus age which consists of an arm wrestling mini game in which you have to rapidly press the A button to win. Now the bonus stages get harder and harder every time, and the only real benefit is to boost your score. After the bonus stage, whether you win or lose, you'll receive instructions how to execute a special move. Each character has four special moves in this game, but you only go through three bonus stages. So after you complete the fourth battle, you'll face four boss characters. I'm only going to show you three of them here. The first one is Hua Jai, who is a Muay Thai fighter similar to Joe Higashi. When you inflict about one-third damage on him, he'll drink a strange elixir, which will turn him red, and he'll execute a rocket kick, which is very powerful. You also have the professional wrestler Raiden, who uses a poison mist and also does a power bomb. 
He probably is the strongest of all the enemies in this game, so you have to be careful when you're fighting him close range. And you have the champion of the King of Fighters tournament, Billy Khan, who uses a stick. Now his attacks have good range, so you have to be careful when you fight him. You can actually break the stick, and while he waits for a new stick, he's in defense mode so you can't attack him. Fatal Fury often gets compared to Street Fighter 2, but this game was developed by Takashi Nishiyama who developed the original Street Fighter, and the story is that he wanted to make this game a spiritual sequel to Street Fighter. Now this game does bear some similarities to it. Now the positives for this game are the graphics, they're very well detailed and have bright colors. I also like the transition between rounds from day to evening to night. The two lane fighting system and also the two on one battles are also a unique feature. Now the biggest drawback in this game is the special moves can be very difficult to pull off at times, but they do a lot of damage. Also, having only three fighters to choose from can be a turn off for some. But this game was popular enough to be ported for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, though they're both inferior to this one. But the best way to enjoy this is to get the SNK Classics Collection. I say try it. I play it for nostalgic purposes, so I'm going to give this game three stars. It's a good game. It's not great, but it's not bad either, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you.